Ever since I opened, Cindy's Sissy Sanctuary, a boutique nestled in the heart of a bustling, open-minded city, my days have been filled with color, laughter, and the joy of transformation. My shop, with its pink walls and an array of sissy-made attire, from frilly dresses and high heels to wigs and cleaning accessories, has become a haven for couples exploring the dynamics of feminization and role reversal. Life threw a curveball at us when Barney, my husband, lost his job. It was unexpected, and the weight of worry settled between us like an uninvited guest. But adversity breeds innovation. As I watched Barney mope around, an idea sparked in my mind. One that would not only help us financially but also bring us closer in ways we hadn't imagined. Barney, I said one evening, the idea bubbling over, how would you feel about working at the shop with me? His eyes widened, a mix of surprise and apprehension. But, Cindy, I, I don't know the first thing about women's clothes, he stammered, missing the point entirely. I couldn't help but chuckle. Not just any women's clothes, love. I want you to help by wearing some of the outfits. Show them off. Help other men feel comfortable trying them on. You'd be perfect. The silence that followed was thick. I could see Barney wrestling with the idea, his pride on one side, his desire to support us on the other. Eventually, love won. Okay, Cindy, if you think it'll help, I'll do it. The next day, we began Barney's transformation. I chose a soft pink sissy made dress that complemented his frame, paired with delicate shoes that surprisingly fit his feet perfectly. As I brushed a wig into place and watched his reflection change in the mirror, I saw a mixture of emotions cross his face, nervousness, acceptance, and finally, a playful embrace of his new role. Barney's presence in the shop was a game changer. Couples who came in were greeted not just by me, but by Barney, in full attire, his demeanor both welcoming and informative. It was heartwarming to see how his involvement encouraged other men to open up, to step out of their comfort zones under the supportive gaze of their partners. Our shop became more than just a place to buy clothes. It became a community hub for discussion, laughter, and shared experiences. Watching a hesitant husband transform into a confident, happy sissy maid, cheered on by his wife, was a joy unlike any other. And Barney, with each passing day, grew more comfortable in his role, his confidence bolstering not just our sales but also our relationship. As the days turned into weeks, Barney's role at Cindy's Sissy Sanctuary evolved from a temporary solution to a cherished part of our daily life. His confidence in assisting customers, his flair for coordinating outfits, and his genuine enthusiasm for helping others explore their sissy made desires brought a new level of success to the shop. But the transformation we experienced at work began to weave its way into our home life in ways neither of us had anticipated. One evening, as we were closing the shop, Barney looked at me with a curious mix of excitement and trepidation. Cindy, he began, his voice softer than usual, I've been thinking. Maybe we could bring some of this. Home? His cheeks flushed a delicate pink, mirroring the dresses that had become his signature at work. The idea thrilled me. The thought of integrating this playful, nurturing aspect of our work life into our home excited me. I think that's a wonderful idea, Barney, I replied, my heart swelling with love and anticipation. Let's explore this new chapter together. We started slowly, introducing elements of Barney's sissy maid persona into our home life. It began with him wearing his maid attire while performing household chores. The sight of him flitting around the house, duster in hand, in his pink dress and apron, added a layer of joy and playfulness to our daily routines. But it wasn't long before Barney expressed a desire to explore even deeper into his feminization journey. I want to be your sissy baby at home, Cindy, he confessed one night, his eyes searching mine for any sign of hesitation. There was none. Instead, I felt an overwhelming surge of affection and a desire to support him in this exploration of his identity. Embracing Barney's wish, we incorporated elements of age play into our relationship. I took on a more nurturing role, guiding and caring for him in ways that deepened our bond. We established routines and rituals that catered to his sissy baby persona, from special outfits to bedtime stories that resonated with his newfound identity. 
The integration of Barney's sissy maid and baby personas into both our work and home life brought a richness and depth to our relationship that we had never imagined. At the shop, he continued to shine as a beacon of confidence and encouragement for our customers, embodying the transformative power of acceptance and love. As our journey into this nuanced dynamic unfolded, Barney, now affectionately known as Barbina in our private life, embraced his sissy baby identity with open arms. The transformation was more than just a role. It was a profound exploration of self that brought an unexpected depth to our relationship. Recognizing the importance of this identity to Barbina, I decided to create a special space in our home. A sissy baby room designed just for her. This room was to be Barbina's sanctuary, a place where she could fully immerse herself in her sissy baby persona, surrounded by the comfort and care of a nurturing environment. I poured my heart into designing this space, selecting soft pastel colors for the walls, pale pinks and baby blues, that created a soothing atmosphere. The furniture, too, was chosen with care. A comfortable, adult-sized crib with delicate bedding, a changing table equipped with all the necessities for a sissy baby, and shelves filled with plush toys and storybooks that celebrated themes of love, acceptance, and the joy of being one's true self. In one corner of the room, I set up a small wardrobe filled with Barbina's sissy baby attire. Frilly dresses, soft onesies adorned with cute motifs, and little socks with lace trim. Each piece was selected not just for its aesthetic but for the sense of security and identity it provided Barbina. The unveiling of the sissy baby room was an emotional moment for both of us. Barbina's eyes sparkled with tears of joy as she took in every detail, from the mobile of dancing fairies above the crib to the soft, cuddly teddy bears waiting with open arms. Cindy, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion, this is more than I ever dreamed of. Thank you for understanding me, for loving me as I am. From that day forward, the sissy baby room became a cherished part of our home. It was a place where Barbina could retreat to fully express her sissy baby identity, whether it was through play, relaxation, or simply being. It was a physical manifestation of the acceptance and love that defined our relationship, a safe space where Barbina could explore her identity without fear or reservation. Our evenings often included time spent in the sissy baby room, with me reading stories to Barbina as she cuddled in her crib, or us playing gentle games that filled the room with laughter and joy. This time together strengthened our bond, creating a shared experience that was both intimate and liberating. Barbina's sissy baby identity, and the room that celebrated it, became integral to our lives. It was a reminder that love is not confined to the norms of society but is instead a boundless force that transcends traditional roles and expectations. Our journey together, with its exploration of feminization, role reversal, and age play, taught us the importance of acceptance, communication, and unconditional love. The transformation within our home, particularly the joy and fulfillment Barbina found in embracing her sissy baby identity, sparked an unexpected development in the dynamic of Cindy's sissy sanctuary. As Barbina flourished, I felt a growing desire to share our journey with our community, not only as a testament to our personal growth but also as a beacon of possibility for others exploring similar dynamics. I started by subtly integrating conversations about age play and feminization into the shop's atmosphere. It wasn't long before I shared the story of Barbina's evolution with a select few of our regular clients, those who had expressed a deeper interest in the nuances of feminization and role reversal. The reactions were overwhelmingly positive, with many expressing admiration for our openness and the depth of our relationship. To my surprise, this openness led to an unexpected trend among our clientele. Several women, inspired by Barbina's story, expressed interest in exploring the sissy baby dynamic with their husbands. They saw in Barbina's happiness a path that might also bring joy and closeness to their own relationships. Encouraged by this interest, I decided to expand the shop's offerings to include items and attire catering to the adult baby, diaper lover, ABDL, community, alongside our sissy maid attire. This decision was met with enthusiasm, and, Cindy's sissy sanctuary, quickly became a haven for couples looking to explore this unique form of expression and intimacy. As more couples began to explore the sissy baby dynamic, the shop evolved into a community hub for discussions, workshops, 
and support groups focused on healthy, consensual, and loving exploration of adult feminization and age play. Our goal was to provide a safe, welcoming space for individuals and couples to learn, share, and grow together. One of the most heartwarming developments was the establishment of monthly meetups for these couples, where they could share experiences, offer support, and celebrate their journeys into feminization and age play. These gatherings were filled with laughter, stories, and an overwhelming sense of community. It was a place where everyone could be their true selves, without fear of judgment. The impact of sharing Barbina's story extended far beyond our initial expectations. It not only brought us closer to our clients but also helped to foster a supportive and understanding community. Couples who once felt isolated in their desires found friendship and camaraderie within the walls of our shop. As for Barbina, she became something of a mascot for our shop's expanded mission. While she preferred to keep her sissy baby identity more private and didn't participate directly in the shop's public events, the knowledge of her happiness and fulfillment served as a powerful example of the beauty in embracing one's true self. Through Cindy's Sissy Sanctuary, we were able to challenge stereotypes, break down barriers, and create a space where love and acceptance were paramount. Our journey into the world of sissy maids and baby girls opened our hearts and our home to an incredible community, teaching us all the value of understanding, acceptance, and the infinite ways love can manifest. From the moment I embraced my identity as Barbina, life took on a new hue, a softer, gentler pink that mirrored the essence of my being. My journey into becoming a happy sissy baby girl has been one of discovery, love, and unabashed joy a testament to the power of embracing one's true self, no matter how unconventional it may seem. Each day, I wake in a room that feels like a dream, my sanctuary. The walls, painted in soothing pastels, hold the promise of peace and acceptance. My crib, oversized yet perfectly fitting for my sissy baby identity, cradles me in comfort and security. The gentle morning light filters through the curtains, casting a warm glow over my collection of plush toys and frilly dresses. This room, lovingly created by Cindy, is more than just a space, it's a reflection of the love and acceptance that has transformed my life. Working at Cindy's Sissy Sanctuary, alongside Cindy has been an unexpected turn in my life's journey. Initially, the idea of donning sissy made dresses and helping others explore their feminization fantasies was daunting. Yet, under Cindy's supportive gaze, I found confidence and purpose. My role in the shop, however, is carefully balanced with my need for privacy and the personal nature of my sissy baby identity. While I don't engage directly with customers in my baby persona, knowing that my story inspires others fills me with a sense of pride and connection to a community I never knew I needed. The shop has become a beacon for those seeking understanding and acceptance. Hearing that couples are inspired by my story, by our story, to explore the dynamics of feminization and age play in their own relationships, reminds me of the power of sharing one's truth. It's a beautiful thing to witness the shop's evolution into a space where diverse expressions of love and identity are not just accepted but celebrated. Home life with Cindy has blossomed into something profoundly beautiful. Our relationship, always strong, has found new depth in the rituals and routines of my sissy baby lifestyle. Cindy's nurturing presence, her willingness to guide and care for me in this vulnerable aspect of my identity, has been a gift of immeasurable value. Whether it's the gentle care she takes in choosing my outfits, the soft lullabies she hums as I drift off to sleep in my crib, or the way she holds space for me to express all facets of my personality, Cindy has shown me what it means to be loved unconditionally. I've come to realize that being Barbina is not just about the dresses, the pacifiers, or the playful age regression. It's about discovering a part of myself that was hidden away, a part that yearns for care, acceptance, and the freedom to exist in a state of pure, unadulterated joy. It's about the strength found in vulnerability, the courage to live authentically, and the beauty of a love that transcends traditional boundaries. In embracing my sissy baby identity, I've not only found happiness and fulfillment, I've become a beacon of hope for others navigating their path toward self-acceptance. My journey, our journey, is a testament to the transformative power of love, the importance of embracing one's true self, and the beauty of creating a life filled with joy, acceptance, and endless possibilities.
As Barbina, I am not just living, I am thriving, wrapped in the warmth of a love that knows no bounds, a happy sissy baby girl in a world that is finally, wonderfully, my own.